Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at six ways to change the user account name in Windows 10. Now some of these are pretty self-explanatory and these are the ones that most people do use. Some people still don't know how to do it but I'll show you six ways of doing it. So the first method is this way. So what we're going to do is right click on the start button go into control panel here and this is the most common way use uh, user accounts if you're using large icons you can click on this and you'll see user accounts in here as well use whatever method you want there so once we go into user accounts here you'll see user accounts here and you'll see a couple of other options but we're just going to go straight into user accounts and then in, in here we will see change your account name here is where you can change your account name to whatever you like so for instance if you wanted to change this to say bright tech one and then put in uh, your change name and it will change this name here so that's one of the methods so method two is to come down to the uh, search box here and we're going to type in here l u s r m g r dot m s c once you've done that you can click on this up at the top here open this up now sometimes it's a bit slow to open I'm just going to let this open up but once this is opened you'll see uh, you're in the local users and groups if we just click on users you'll see the Brightec and Brightec one now the name is the actual name you can change that in here as well with the actual official name you will need to reboot and that will take a big update uh, to change all those features but if you just want to change the full name you can do that you can change both of the names in here if that's what you're after so if you just uh, double click on this it will give you the ability to change the name as you can see here so I'll put number two if I want to click apply and OK and that is the name changed and again, uh, you can either right click or you can double click on them. It depends on which way you want to go about it. So that's the uh, way to do that in the local users and uh, group local. I'm going to come down here and we'll just take a look and see whether it's changed. So look at user accounts and then go straight into user accounts. And you can see it's already changed this to Brightech 2. So let's try another method. So method 3, come down to the search box here. And we're going to type in here gpedit.msc and this is the group policy editor if you come in here open this box up now you might not have group policy editor if you're on the home version but i'll show you this way just as well so if you come in here we're looking for computer configuration windows settings here open this up pull the tree down as you can see here go into security settings and then drop that down drill down as you can see to local policies and then open this up and then security options and on the right hand side you will see accounts rename administrator account and also rename guest accounts and that's where you can do those here if you double click on this it'll open up and you can see the administrator you can change the name of the administrator from here as well if you want to I'm just going to leave that as is but if you wanted to change that you could change that and then apply an OK I'm going to close this out. I'm going to try another method. So method four, I'm going to come down to the search box here. I'm going to type in here Reg Edit and open up the registry editor. Now I would not recommend that you do it this way because sometimes this could mess up your computer and uh, you could have trouble booting. Uh, but I will show you the location where it is just in case you wanted to take a look but I wouldn't advise you to change it in this method because it's a bit more risky so HK local machine software Microsoft and then pull down a little bit further until you get to Windows NT current version inside current version we're going to pull down again once you get down to the bottom here you're looking for profile list and this is where all your profiles are you can see here if I click on this this is the uh, account you'll see on the right hand pane now profile image path if you double click on this you can see the actual name username Brightec you can change it here and this will change the actual folder name I wouldn't advise you to do that uh, from this location but it can be done 
uh, from here. I'm just going to leave that as is. Let me just show you another method. So method five. I'm going to come down to the start button here. I'm going to right click on this and we're going to come down to where it says uh, computer management inside computer management. I'm going to open up this pane here. You want to look for local users and groups inside here on the right hand pane. Look for users inside here. You will see the user accounts. And it's the same thing you can either right click and rename uh, the actual name here or you can uh, double click on this and change uh, this full name as you can see here, I'll quickly change this to show you and that's fine that's done so you can see we've got the same names there okay moving on to the final uh, method method six i'm going to come down here this is the most common one which people use a lot of admins use this sort of a uh, method uh, but it's N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. And then we just move up to the top here and click on the icon there. This will open this pane up. And as you can see, you'll get full access to all the user accounts from here. And uh, this is where you can make changes as well. Now you can uh, double click on this, as you can see. And you can change the name here, the username and the full name if you want to in this location. If you change the username, it will uh, require a reboot uh, there. You can change the full name as well. Uh, but this is the method I would use if I was going to change the, the actual uh, name itself. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or you just want to join the forums and join the community, then the information's on the screen. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.